hello all welcome to tech tapcha so we are here with one more amazing video on a google agent development kit so in previous videos we discussed about what is google adk and we created our few basics agents using the google agent development kit so we talked about what is our tools in google agent development kit and how we can use these tools what are the different types of tool what are the inbuilt tools how we can integrate adk with bigquery how we can integrate adk with the third party tools like langchain crew ai and we also discussed about some function tool where we can write our custom python code and that can be called from the agent development kit which is our adk now we are just going one step ahead and this video we are going to discuss about what are the different types of agents available in adk okay so till now we just work with the basic agent that has llm agent but apart from that there are a certain amounts of efforts required if we need to do a certain amount of task using the agent tk okay so let's see what are these different types of agents and we are going to see each of this agent with the hands-on demo okay we are going to create the multi-agent system using the multiple agents and then we'll see what are these uh, different available agents available in adk on my screen you can see a uh, different types of agents available in adk so broadly these are categorized into three sections one is llm agent then the workflow agent and then the custom agent so till now we were using only the llm agent for our previous demos but now we'll talk more about workflow agent so let's say whenever we want to control the execution of the sub agent in the multi-agent system then we need a workflow agent i'll show you the example as as well why we need a workflow agent and how we can implement the workflow agent in workflow agent there are uh, three types of agent one is sequential then the parallel and the loop agent and the third is a custom agent now just don't get more into it i will just try to explain you with a small example let's say in workflow agent we'll first talk about the sequential agent and we'll create one a uh, multi-agent system so let's say what we will do we'll create one sequential agent for our uh, job assistance and that agent will have a three sequential sub agent so first agent will just get the open jobs from the internet and it will pass to the next agent which is our uh, again the second sub agent llm based sub agent by using that open job position it will create a list of the questions and answer based on this open position okay then the list of open jobs and the question answer is passed to the third sub agent and using that information it will create a like customize interview tips for you so using this three llm and from the response of three llm sub agent you will get output which will be your complete the interview preparation kit so here you will have the list of open jobs you will have the interview questions and answer and you will also have the interview tips okay where now these are a sub agent we can see the first sub agent uh, then the second sub agent and three sub third sub agent needs to be executed in the sequential manner because first agent will just get the open jobs let's say i will type a prompt in my main agent so this is your root agent and it does not have the llm capability it just define the list of this agent okay so here i will just type a prompt i need to uh, or i am looking for the google cloud architect role so first your first sub agent will go and fetch all the open position for the google cloud architect role then your second sub agent go and prepare the interview question for the google cloud architect role and the third sub agent using the open position and the interview questions from which companies there are uh, the open position which question answers are available there and it will prepare the interview plan for you or interview tips for you and it will give you the output as a single consolidate answer for you so this is a basically a sequential agent okay the parallel agents are a bit different so here you are just running it in a sequential manner but let's say we'll talk about the second scenario which is a loop agent and parallel agent so what will happen in loop agents i will here also we are going to implement one a multi-agent system where we are going to create a architect reviewer multi-agent system where what we'll do our first agent will ask okay create a design for me the cloud architecture or the web application then your first sub agent will create a design your sub second sub agent will review your design third based on that review feedback it will again uh, refine the architecture and then it will provide the final feedback so this loop will continue until there is no issue in your feedback or you can set up the maximum iteration only review two times after that give the output okay so this is the loop agent where you can continuously perform the same agent until a certain condition is met that is your loop agent third type of agents are parallel agent where there is no sequence matters 
let's say you need to perform a multiple different task uh, let's say i want to create so in our demo we'll create one multi agent content creation agent so what i will put i will just put okay create content for me for xyz topic or let's say create content for me on a google edk so it will invoke a three parallel agent so first will first will create a content or it will give the script for the linkedin post second will give the content for the instagram post and third will give the content for the uh, youtube post so these three can run parallel and for the parallel agent you will get output from each of the agent parallelly so there will be a three output because you are having a three parallel agent so all the demo we are going to see in our video so let's start a demo so first we will go with the sequential agent demo